Well, what's that I keep telling you about the best defense? It's always an even better offense. So my hat's off to the IRS guys. Belittled and badgered, still coming at us tooth and nail. Reportedly continuing their harassment of Tea Party groups unabated. Still snooping, still demanding, still pestering, still intimidating. Steve Moore and Gina Loudon still fuming. Gina, far from slowing down, just as you predicted and just as you and your colleagues experienced, still unbowed. And, and, you know, I think they've gotten a bit greedy, though, Neil. They think, well, they did uh, effectively undermine the efficacy of these groups in the last election. We know that some of that activism was somewhat oppressed by the, the fact that they couldn't, they couldn't deal with the IRS. They were afraid. Um, Jenny Beth Martin even quoted in the Wall Street Journal saying that she would go places and there would be empty chairs and everyone was questioning, you know, whether the Tea Party was a good label anymore. But all of a sudden, this is kind of backfired on the IRS because now uh, the Tea Party Patriots, for example, their donations are tripled. Uh, their staff has doubled because people are seeing this not as a conservative versus liberal thing, Neil, but I think they're seeing it as a they the imperial versus we the people and realizing that just because it's the Tea Party today, it could be any group tomorrow that the government decided to suppress. Well, you know, that, that might very well be right, Steve, and I, I don't doubt Gita for a second, but if it was supposed to give the IRS pause, they're not pausing. And, and yeah. I think that's what worries me from this, that, that they're just going full throttle. Well, you know, the only thing I'd ask you, Neil, is when has the IRS never, never been on offense? They are always on offense. And as long as I've been studying this issue for 25 years, they never retreat. Um, one of the things that I find uh, fairly outrageous about this, the state of this scandal is when you talk to these groups, and I've interviewed some of the lawyers and some of the heads of the organizations that were targeted, Neil, they still haven't been made whole. A lot of these organizations here, it's been, what, three to six months, and, and they still have not received their IRS, uh, you know, uh, tax exempt status. So what's with that? I mean, the, I believe the Republicans should be getting on the case. After all, the IRS, you know, it technically works for Congress, right? The Congress has oversight of the IRS. Why aren't they, why aren't those members of Congress, the members of the Ways and Means Committee, putting more pressure on the IRS to uh, stop these attacks on conservative groups? I think they're just afraid. And I think, Gita, to points you and I've mentioned in prior visits here that whether it's the IRS, whether it's the NSA, whether it's all these agencies that have abused their, 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 their sort of privileges here, they mm -hmm. feel undeterred because their budgets are never cut. They're really never reined right. in to, to even this date. No one at the NSA or IRS, for that matter, has been brought up and, 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 and told you are fired. So um, there's no why should they? That, that's exactly right. You know, Steve makes a great point, too. Uh, heads should be rolling from the perspective of the leadership in Congress as well. This should right. be the GOP on this machine. But you see, right. the dirty little secret is that the GOP establishment hates these groups as much, if not more, uh, <laughs> than the imperial president. So, so you have a heck of a thing that these groups have managed to endure this sort of harassment without really any of the media on their side except for you and, uh, and, and some uh, some news newspaper outlets. Um, and so, so when you look at the survival of these groups, that tells you the real tenacity of the grassroots out there, Neil, that is relentless and is not going to stop until the overreach of this government is, is removed. And, and, uh, and, and that's exactly what you're seeing here is that sort of tenacity. It's inspiring, and don't really. Forget, and don't forget that you also have the leadership of the Democratic Party. Now, let's point a finger at them. Remember, Neil, yeah. it was just a few few weeks ago that they said it's case closed. You know, there's nothing here. There's nothing That's behind nice. that curtain. Uh, and so that only continues to embolden the IRS to engage in this kind of what I believe is criminal behavior. And that's where, to Gita's point as well, the mainstream media comes up to be faulted because they want it to be case closed. Um, they're, they're, the only agenda they have is, is to, to close the case. Uh, but not on our watch. Guys, thank you very, very much. Appreciate Thanks for covering it. the story, Neil. There you go. We will not Glad let this die. Because uh, <laughs> this is everybody. You know, when this happens, guys, to Gina's point, so to one group, it could happen to any group. It could happen to you. That's right. Just keep that in mind. Meanwhile, good news. Now only 43% of Americans are not paying federal income taxes. We can do this, people. We can get this down to 40%.